theme released, Pipe Manipulation, Loop Array Node. Let's see what's still in Pixel Composer 1.13. So the biggest new here would be a Steam version release for Pixel Composer. It comes with Steam Workshop support so that you can export and share your collection file or your project file into the workshop directly. Every HIO user you also get the Steam key, which you can check out in the devlog on HIO to see how you can redeem it. Both HIO and Steam version will be updated alongside each other, although if you want to use Steam Workshop feature, then you would need to be on the Steam version. Next is a loop array node groups, which is a new type of node groups that allow you to iterate operation on each member of the array. So this node can be a little bit confusing compared to the previous loop node, so I might make a tutorial to explain the difference and the use case for each of them. We have a set of nodes related to path manipulation, like path remap, path transform, shift, trim, and wave, and allow you to add more effect to the path itself, which can be useful when you connect path to line renderer or shape node. We have assigned this 10 field node that can generate the side of 10 field on any arbitrary shape. We have a new trail node which dedicates to creating a trail effect. Now, you don't have to create like a feedback system anymore. This node runs directly from the surface, though there are some limitations to this node. So I might make a separate video for it later. There are also an improvement on the user interface. The window system are now reworked to support borderless full screen. The improvement on notification system for it to be less spammy. The inspector will now show the metadata of the current context, and it will also show the output of the node as well. The preview panel I now have horizontal and vertical only tiling mode. And the scroll menu, like for example, the blend mode in the blend node, you preview the values in real time on mouse hover. The array get now also accept array in the index property. A render spreadsheet node set to an image array will now run automatically without manual execution. And when you manually execute this render spreadsheet node, if you execute every render spreadsheet node in your project as well. The blend node have new blend mode, the hue, saturation, and luminosity. There's also a node tiling mode, which will not scale the image. Instead, you will be able to select what kind of alignment you want the foreground image to be. The repeat node have an option to spread array of input into an area of output, and then an option to execute every export node all at once. And the scatter point can output the values of each point, which can be read by the scatter node to control different attributes like scale or rotation. The particle node comes with an improvement of performance and the caching system, which allows you to preview the change when scrubbing on the timeline. The 3D node comes with an option to not fix view to the dimension, which is allow the pixel perfect scaling and adjustment of dimension without changing the scale of the object. And there are a series of bug fixes as you can see on the screen. There are also other features as well. The full feature list link will be in the description. And that's all for this video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.